Hello and welcome to the February 2016 edition of Local Motions. Starting off with some employee recognition, the City Council recognized uh, employees of the quarter and the employee of the year. Employees of the quarter included Karen Chu, Debbie Yates, and Omar Garcia. And our 2015 employee of the year was Mr. Steve Mason. Uh, Steve was recognized at the State of the City Dinner along with the Citizen of the Year, who is David Hayden from El Davide. So congratulations to all. In February, the City Council had a number of key agenda items on their calendar. Uh, one of them was that the Council selected the final design for the Anderson Drive Railroad Crossing where SMART will be going through. It is extremely important as uh, when SMART is ready to continue the train to Larkspur, the Anderson Drive Crossing is, is one of the biggest issues that needs to be solved. So the Council's action was important and allows us to now move on to the next step, which is seeking approval through the PUC process. Another item that the City Council heard was a one-year update on our Community Engagement Action Plan, which is filled with a, a number of initiatives that we're working cross-departmentally on as we try to increase and ramp up our efforts in community engagement. There's a, a number of issues going on in that plan and I encourage you to take a look at it if you want to find out more. Another really exciting uh, council item in February was the council's approval of the special library tax renewal and enhancement, which is going to go on the June 2016 ballot. Here's a little bit more information on that. On February 16th, the City Council adopted a resolution placing the San Rafael Special Library Services Parcel Tax Measure, now defined as Measure D, on the ballot for the June election. Measure D would extend the, li extend the library parcel tax for a period of nine years and would increase the per parcel tax from $49 to $59. Without a renewal of the library parcel tax, the San Rafael Public Library will experience an immediate reduction in services. Since the passage of the Special Library Services Parcel Tax in 2010, the library has been in higher demand than ever for its services. Another item on the agenda was Corey updated the City Council on our 2016 sustainability priorities. This is a long list of projects and efforts and initi initiatives that Corey and others throughout the organization are working on. Uh, it's a range of things, uh, very broad based, uh, from zero waste transit connectivity, solar power, moving to deep green power, uh, also related to sea level rise, greenhouse gas reduction. Uh, it's a great document of things that we'll be accomplishing in 2016. The last item that I wanted to bring up that the council considered and approved was a cue cutter project presented by the Department of Public Works. You might ask yourself, what are cue cutters? Um, and it's not someone cutting in line in front of you at the bank or at the ATM or something. It's actually a system of traffic signals that are basically in place to cause or prevent vehicles from queuing up and stacking over the, the railroad tracks in the downtown area. So it's, it's yet another way that we're working with SMART and other agencies on trying to make it as safe as possible for cars interacting with the train downtown. Did you know that the land for the downtown library was originally donated by the Women's Christian Temperance Union in order to get men to stop drinking and instead to read? 